Hey, Paulia, what's up? Today we are going to talk about things that are going on in Dungeon Master, obviously, as we usually are. But we are going to start by uh, telling you a little story. A lot of subscribers are complaining about the sound. Obviously, I don't have a professional microphone, so... And some people said that uh, I should ask from you guys, which I am not the guy, you know, and... But I come up with a solution that could help both of us, and... Yeah, maybe we get more than one uh, microphone, you know, maybe even a camera or some, a laptop or something. Uh, it all matters uh, how many people will join, obviously. So I am using a card. It's called Revolut for four years, I would say now. I have a really good experience with them. Obviously, they're online. They don't have a bank per se in your location, but they're globally. So you can take money out of everywhere. So it's really cool. And they are responding to messages pretty quickly, so you don't need to wait, you know, days or weeks to fix a problem with your own money, you know. So that's really cool. I'll say you could use that, anybody could use that, you know, 24 7 uh, taking care of your money kind of situation. So I'm gonna leave a link down below so everybody who joins would uh, help me get like 40 euros but obviously they will have to verify their ID, they will have to order a card and like buy like three times something, you know, use, usually you spend something, just spend with the card, you know. Like treat them. If you don't like it, I mean, you can just toss uh, toss it aside afterwards. It doesn't really matter because I would get that for the. And if enough people do that, I would, uh, you know, get some rewards in cash actually. So that's pretty cool. Straight to my uh, revolt. So that will really help me in the long run, and we might get that microphone after all. And maybe even a camera <coughs> so I'm gonna leave the link down below obviously it would help a lot but you know it's not really cheap so where's more people it's more fun obviously that would be a really uh, awesome story to say later you know this is how I start my story my journey and then I got a microphone from my subscribers mm. that's cool and I've been recording on my phone for a year now so I know that sounds it sounds is really important, but yeah, you can hear a quite okay with this headsets because they're pretty expensive, so that's why I'm using them. But it's not a professional microphone, so yeah, that's probably going to make a difference. I do have a laptop now, but I don't have a microphone for it so it sounds really bad so i can't use that unfortunately i try to if you can see a couple of videos back i tried to use it but it didn't make any difference so yeah if you want to help join revolut and use the link down below <coughs> Right, what changes did I do to my dungeon? As you guys know, there are big changes coming along. And I have sold my EOS NFTs. 
because I am staking in a pool and I'm getting some rewards back so I put everything there and I don't know what the future will bring so I'm not investing anything in the NFTs and the dungeon right now because dungeon worlds would come up and something really big is going on because I can see the team is really really busy lately doesn't do much but work on the project which is cool I like that hopefully it's going to be amazing so I sold them and I'm waiting to see what's going to happen and then I'm to I am going to go from there in any strategy that I have because obviously we don't know exactly what is going to happen with the dungeon worlds how we're going to go in them and stake the nfts if i can stake more than 100 on the wax blockchain that's going to make a difference obviously so or eos again i have a couple of nfts on eos as well some people get really confused about this pick nfts to hide this is not showing how many NFTs you have staked. It's showing how NFTs you have in your wallet. I don't know why people get confused. Some people actually do. It says 100 NFTs hiding. You can't hide anymore. You understand? It's so is like that. It even says there. Du, 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 du. I had a video recently about collections and drama about it. Some people got really offended and started picking on me for, but they didn't know any kind of facts. I mean, some people, one guy was. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, every single video is online. I do not delete things. Everything is up for everybody to see. So he was confused, said something like, don't you have Future Relics staked on? Yes, but Future Relics is not my collection. For the pain meds, is, it's a different kind of collection. You know, it's completely different. You know, just because it starts with F doesn't mean it's the same collection, my friend. You need to check your facts. And obviously, I loved Androbots like long time ago, and I got some free NFTs and I bought some NFTs, as everybody did. But I just don't like the creator anymore, you know. And I couldn't be friends with him anymore because some things, you know, I can't say. But he was really mean. And I'm not going to tolerate that for you guys or for me. You understand? So I just couldn't. I didn't delete the videos because obviously you can't delete the past, the past, but still there. I was happy, obviously, but I don't know. Some people just, oh, you know what happened, bro, bro, bro. And bro, it's everything, you know, out there. I don't hide, I don't do nothing like that. People stake in their own collection is bad and should be uh, I don't know, should be worked on, should be punished, you understand? Because first of all they're robbing their collectors from value and they're disrespecting them because minting a lot of rare NFTs that is not worth it their collectors have bought the NFTs for you understand so some people are really happy that they got one rare NFT and they're only five and then all of a sudden they're like 150 you understand it's not cool and going to stick up for everybody it's just the right thing to do because um my motto in life is what you don't like to be done to yourself don't do it to others so i think it's a 
that's how it is that's how it should be I still have my future relics in the dungeon I have like 85 NFTs of it really high MPs but I blended guys I blended them and I still have the whitelist which I'm getting free packs every eight days and I told a, a lot of you guys to buy them and probably some of you still are making some wax out of it and some NFTs of the white whitelist and we I am too obviously I'm not doing things that I mean I'm not not doing things that I tell you guys to do obviously I am doing it because it feels like the right thing to do getting free NFTs who doesn't want to and such a cool collection I mean come on and for mining power obviously because that's that's the game we're playing right now which uh, I keep saying it's broken the mining power I hope they're working on it some solution really needed for everybody involved doesn't feel right what's going on right now yep I mean the contribution doesn't feel like it's giving much look at that four euros that's like half an hour of work in real life I should work like 25 days in this game mm, don't think so mate and with this mining power I mean come on that's a lot of investment you just on it you understand as a couple of season ago this mining power was god tier like and now it's like you understand it's like what is going on it's not cool I don't like it but let's hope it's going to happen I keep hoping and I believe in the Wamba team definitely really brilliant guys but they need to understand this concept mining power is the middle of the game if not else and it matters a lot it needs to be chiseled it needs to be worked on pretty hard What else? I bought some NFTs from Crypto Devils. I made a really nice offer. Obviously, I am friends with the creators as well. And yes, he did give me a nice offer. Then you know, then again, you need to know when to buy them, my guy. You know, you need to know when is the right time. I mean you can see the NFTs right here the first three ones that this shows and their uranium I think I, I still have uh, like 50 60 NFTs from his collection and I stake them to EOS and then I have mm, sold the one play NFTs and I stake these on I don't I didn't want to mine the uranium but now I am and it's strangely is on EOS side so if I wanted to this season if I had the free time and I didn't have a really tiring job I could have gone for uranium this season full uranium definitely could have done that because I have on your S side a lot of them and I could have completed that and then bought on Wax side as well. That would have been the perfect strategy. I think I am going to try and go to VIP 5 this season at least. 
so I can get that free pass because it's like a waste to just buy the pass if you can get a free is the same kind of value and you get seven VIP packs or something like that, seven I think so that's already extra you know maybe get some really nice equipment if you open them days left yes another like four euros oh my god going to get 10k uranium maybe in one or two seasons I'm gonna finish that just from the past I think it is going to add up all right thanks for watching guys see you next time hopefully we can find something new and exciting i did drop some packs in the chest didn't get anything so i was just maybe it's worth mentioning could have sold them but the price is like as well because of the drops obviously in the packs is really bad Okay guys, see you next time and don't forget to sign up with Revolut and help a brother out. Get that sound quality up.